Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, thought I'd do a quick video today on my Hope light setup on my bike. Uh, there's lots of videos out there telling you all about the lights, but I don't think I've seen one showing you how to mount them or, what, or the best place to put them on your bike. So it's just a quick overview really of where I've put mine to be honest. Um, I've got, um, this is a Hope District rear light. Um, I think they do a district plus name but this is the original district what I've done with mine I've got a dropper seat post on mine so I've just mounted it slightly below there so it isn't going to impede when you use your your seat post uh, luckily the battery pack fits nicely um, just above you've got a little bit of a, a ridge here where the uh, where the velcro and the battery pack goes around and it just sits nicely there um, I've been out on it and it's quite quite sturdy and doesn't go anywhere the wires aren't catching on anything so it's quite a nice quite a nice fit on the back there um, so I'm quite pleased with the way that fits if you haven't seen what these things look like we'll give it a bash and they are quite bright so you get one setting two settings three settings and the fourth one is a really bright, I think this is the fourth one, oh there's the other one, that's the one there, it's a fair old, uh, fair old rear light, and then you hold it down and it turns it off, so that's the rear setup, brilliant light that one, um, the front one I've got is the R4, and I've mounted the battery pack on the top of the um, the top of the handlebar there I've got quite a short stem so I can't really put it under here if you had a longer stem I suppose you could mount it there um, this when they originally came out they had a, a standard battery pack and what they called an epic battery pack which was the larger ones um, this is the epic so it's quite a quite a big battery pack um, you can have splitter cables as well so you don't have to run two separate batteries you could in theory I could run the front light off this battery split this and run it along here and up to the light uh, but I'm not so sure about that I don't know I think that, that cable might get in the way and it doesn't look it doesn't look particularly good so I'll just show you the the light on here so what we've got one not to get it in the camera so Three. Yes, yeah, three. We've got one, two, three. Three brightnesses, and then off. So there we go. That's the, this is the R4, and again they have brought out a, an R4 Plus. I'm not sure what the difference is. If you know what the difference is, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments below. And as I said, there is a, a District Plus. So they've, up, they've obviously updated them in some way. I don't know. I don't know how they've updated them. So be interesting to know what the difference is. But there you go. I thought I'd just let you know. or give you an overview of how I've mounted them on the bike if, in case you're having problems putting them on your bike and, and want to know how to put them on for the best. But that 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 one at the back that fits nicely, and I've not had any problems with it falling off or getting in the way. Yes, it will get a bit muddy because of where it's located, but. Uh, on the whole it's a um, pretty good fit there so there we go that's the hope light setup on my bike uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel uh, why not why not give it a go and see what's on there basically it's all about my hobbies uh, bikes boats cars you name it it's on there uh, and give me a thumbs up be really appreciated so uh, i'll see you guys in the next one take care